arbetet på flottan mars det hindras på om vi ska hinna innan i sannan lägger sig så att tjockt att vi inte kommer ut. Jag har med. Vi vet inte vad som finns på den för havet. Om vi inte attackerar först och någon annan inte attackerar oss riskar vi allt för alla allt. Pappa? Vad vill du? Ja. Jag undrade bara om du ville... Nej, Gud. Var ut ungen. Detta är ett krigsrum. Inte ett läckrum för barn. Du hörde generalen. Ut, Zima. Men... Ut! Kallare. Zima, vad har du här ute? Du kommer att bli förkydd i det där tunna kladdena. Jag försökte få pappa att faktiskt spri sig om mig. Men vad jag än gör så är det bara flottan, flottan, flottan. Det är som att jag inte ens finns i hans värld. Kom, vi läcker en läck. Va? Vi läcker en lägg. Bara du och jag. Okej. Okay. <här> Vad har hänt? Kejsarens män. Drick. Här. They don't know the language. Elif, here, drink. This is going to make you feel better. Trust me. Don't drink too much. It's not safe to. That's it. Who are you? You are clearly both of the blood. But your friend doesn't know the language. They're my cousin. I was traveling to see them and their father. Just go with it. Right. And who are you, might I ask? I'm Nana. I come from Ferngard. The Emperor's men haven't left Mercury in hundreds of years. Now what would make them so interested in you? I don't really know. We were just finishing dinner when they came. They burned down their farm and killed Aleph's father. We ran until our legs couldn't carry us and that's where you found us. Hmm. Huh. You're lucky I did too. By the looks of it, you two almost entered Svalton. But it is suspicious someone of the blood doesn't... And who do you claim to be, sir? I am Askatel of the Guard. Great. What's worse? Being chased by the Emperor's men or being found by one of Brynjar's lapdogs? <sighs> Look. You're not in a great position to be making those comments, Nana of Ferngard. I happen to know that the people of Ferngard haven't left its walls since the fall. So what are you really doing here? Your companion doesn't speak the language, but yet, they are clearly of the blood. And you still have to tell me about their father. Fadir. I... I do. But he's been dead for a very long time. You mean the traitor? Fadir of the guard? How do you know about him? The murder isn't some secret only the guard knows about. The traitors are known far and wide. But you can't be stupid enough to believe that just because someone calls themselves Fadir to their child, it means they're that Fadir. It's just a title. The old word for father. What is strange about a man using the word for father as a title when he is just that? What was your father's real name? 
<sighs> you don't know. Listen. I don't know who you two are, who your father was, or why the Emperor's men are roaming the forest. For the time being, I think I ought to bring you to her, the Lady of the Mountains, until Brynjar can decide what it is to be done about you two. Great. <laughs> Have you got anything against that? Of course not. Good. Now... It will go much faster if I wake the road. That's a sloppy fire if I've ever seen it. And how would you know that? You being a woman? I've seen it when other men have made them. Ah, your friend seems to recognize it. From yesterday, when you two fled. I may have made a small fire yesterday, but come on, dude. We were running from the Emperor's men. We had to. <sighs> Fine. This way. Follow me. What? Elif, I don't think that's... You really don't know anything about the blood, do you? Very well. The guard is a section of the people of the blood. Only those from certain bloodlines on their father's side are welcomed as fully pledged members of the Guard. Others can follow, of course, but they'll never know everything. Never a real Guard. We follow the rules and rights of the tradition for longer than the land you walk on has existed. The tradition was one of the first laws to come into being, and living by this tradition has kept us safe. Um, of course. Some of us have a tendency to bend the rules a bit from time to time. You're a rebel. <laughs> Maybe. Though I'd prefer if you don't mention it to Brynjar when you meet him. He's pretty strict about the tradition. Claims that was what kept the guards safe from midwinter during the dark years. It's been a while since I last heard anything about Brynjar. Has he taken the title yet? No. As I said... Brynjar follows the tradition to a T. He would never take the title of Fadir of the Guard. And since the last Fadir died without a hair, there won't be another Fadir either. But he still has mostly the same responsibilities. He is the only one who can decide what is going to happen to you two. Whether you, Nana, are telling the truth and should be escorted back to Fern Guard, or perhaps to the Moon Priestess. And what is to be done about your mysterious cousin? Anyways, here. This is where I'll have to leave you. The Lady of the Mountains lives in a small cabin at the top of that hill. You'll see it once you get closer. I need to go talk to Brynjar past the valley. It's no worries. I'm glad I could get you here safely. Oh, and uh, Aleph. Keep an eye on your cousin. Don't want her pissing off the wrong people. Now, I suggest you two start climbing on. I didn't see it necessary for him to know who we are. If the guard gets involved, things are bound to get complicated. Best to try to avoid them as much as possible. There's a cabin Askatil was talking about. Hang on. I know this place. Behind that bush. Hide! It's not polite to lurk around in the bushes. I could see you both. Come on out. I see you got the clothes I made you. Good. I didn't trust that woman I handed them to. What took you so long, Zemmer? We didn't know my father's men would be after us. It's been a while, Mom. Aleph, I'm sorry about your father. Fidir was a great friend of mine. I know a lot of things, and what I don't know for sure I can usually guess my way to. I also know you have brought things of the past along with you, though I don't know what. May I see them? Fadir had a chest with his things from the Empire. 
who wanted us to bring you some of them. Yeah, sorry, I never really explained that bit. This is my stepmother, Mona. And by the people around these parts, I am called the Lady of the Mountains. Now show me, what is it Fidir wanted me to see? He had the knife. Still cold. It protected us from his men. They didn't dare to come too close when I held it. It still has an imprint of your father. They can feel that that knife is the one that killed him. They feel that that knife can end them too, just as easily. We also found something else. Elif, show it. The Covenant? The what now? It's old, very old. The Covenant stood as a contract between the blood and the creatures. The creatures like... Fairies, nymphs, elves, trolls, goblins. It was hung in the throne room, and after the murder we took the Covenant and the Imperial Regalia. Why did you break it? That's enough questions for tonight. Come in. I've prepared your beds. It's about time you two get a good night's sleep. I'll tell you a story as you doze off, like I used to. I'm a bit too old for bedtime stories, Mona. I think you'll want to hear this one. Oh yeah? I do, because this is the story of your history. The story about Midwinter, the murder, and most importantly, the blood.